Changzhou volunteers care for their care recipient through social networking sites. Switching to a plant-based diet reduces the risk of developing goats. Welcome to the Headlines. I'm Siri Su. Thank you for joining us. At the beginning of our program, we'll take you to Namibia. It is hot and dry in Namibia where people lead a harsh life. City volunteers from Durban, South Africa, have been traveling to Namibia to carry out charity work for many years. Despite the long distances, South Africa city volunteers are happy to inspire local volunteers and help the needy. No matter where you come from, that we meet each other and try to improve our lives. Cut City volunteers travel for 2,000 kilometers from Durban, South Africa to Namibia. They're delivering love and care despite the distances. The volunteer explains the special gesture. Do you like this? We are a family, like this. Like this, like the roof. The roof, it means, and the sky is the roof. We are one under one sky. They can see people to be coming, but we're sticking for the people, for the community where they stay, for the people that we love each other. Because the women in the, in the Bible, they talk about that, but when they do it, with us we go and see the pain of that person, then we write down. We've got some kitchens. Senior volunteer explains the charity mission for the local volunteers. Don't talk about that, we give them the rice, we give them that. Because that is a, just a, like an incentive to the people. It's not the aid. Before feeding the community orphans, the volunteers let them wash hands with the water they bought. At a young age, these children eat a lot because this might be their only meal in the day. Ice cream containers or recycled plastic boxes are the children's bowls. Sitting on the ground under the shade as they eat is how they usually fill up their stomachs. There's a boy who slowly eats the rice. For the children, the rice here is especially aromatic. <laughs> Carrying out Siji's work in Namibia, the volunteers have to endure the heat. People learn about Siji's principles under the big tree. Do not gamble, no color of the machine. Do not eat meat, no yombelela. Respect the traffic laws and regulations. Eager to learn the Dhamma teachings, people brought chairs and stools from their homes. Facing the language barrier, the volunteers translate the teachings for people. So that we live peacefully in our land. So we on, so on, live on, on, on the land. All those people, they come. Even those who are killing the people, they, they come say, I'm so not telling what we are doing now because we learned that is wrong what we are doing. Now we are so sorry, we repent, we won't do it again. From today I join. <laughs> <laughs> This small grocery shop that sells a variety of items is named Siji. What made you to think that I will open a Siji shop? Is there anything you give back to the community or you just help them to come and buy? Now we don't have it now, but we used to sell the breads. So in the, the boils, this one, and the mahango. So of course. Despite poverty, the shop owner gives back to the community with wisdom. Although life is harsh, seeds of love have been planted in the minds of the people. Since the beginning of February, Changzhou has implemented close-off management. After staying home for a long time, some people felt anxious. Local city volunteers have conducted online book study sessions to share their thoughts. In addition, some volunteers have cared for their care recipients and Dharma families.
全球祈祷，祝死灾卷，全球平安，武汉，武汉加油！啊，虽然是隔着门、隔着墙，但是隔不断慈济人的爱。As Changzhou, Jiangsu implements cost of management for the city, city volunteers care for their care recipients using social networking sites. On January 29th, Tang Yuyue and I went to buy three bags of flour. Then you deliver rice and oil, so we have enough food. I've just gone to the field to pick some carrots and vegetables. The volunteers also visited their Dama families to deliver warmth. <laughs> we visited 37 Dharma families delivering gifts. The families received our love. Although we could not enter some neighborhoods, we encouraged each other while we were separated by the walls and doors. While caring for other people, the volunteers have also been conducting online book study sessions for two weeks and found peace of mind through reading. My biggest gain is that I've grown while giving of myself. The volunteer sees the time at home to gather the kind thoughts and find peace of mind. The preventative measures against the spread of coronavirus continue. To encourage medical professionals on the front lines, city volunteers from Daling City Hospital prepare special hot soup to warm up their stomach and heart. Cooking a big pot of forest spirit soup with ingredients such as cow seed, lotus seed, fox nuts, poria mushroom, and Chinese angelica. This special dish is to help support the hospital medical staff's internal organs and strengthen their energy. We're on high alert for the epidemics. All the hospital staff is working hard to decrease the tension. It's also wonderful that the volunteers are still willing to remain at their post. So we're here to add a little flavor to their meal to thank them. As well, I'm glad to be able to contribute. I think it's a stressful time, and the co-workers are all working hard. My heart is warmed by the sisters' care. The soup is delicious. Besides the extra dish, the volunteers have also made essential oil charms to give them. Using tea tree oil's antibacterial property and Chinese juniper, which helps clear respiratory channels, as well as rose oil for a calming effect to help us get through this time safely. We're all overly stressed lately. The soup to warm hearts and the scent to energize and calm, the loving care of the volunteers, are sure to carry the medical staff through this uncertain time. As people take preventative measures against the spread of coronavirus, they need to use masks. A city handicraft shop in Tainan is making cloth masks. Many community volunteers are participating. The general public also donated their sewing machines to help out. They all want to do their part to help the people in need. Once the cloth from the dye technology arrives, members of this handicraft shop began making cloth masks. Every person does her share of the work. Some work on the blue part of the mask, and some work on the white part. And one of the teachers is a store owner. The epidemic has become more serious, so we shouldn't fight with others for surgical masks. It will cause a panic. Normally, there are 10 people in the handicraft shop in Sanhua, Tainan. But three times the numbers are working there now. Those sisters are professional, so I gave up my seat to do something else. 76-year-old Sao Reizhi helps train away threats as she relies upon her reading glasses. Everyone cooperates together. We just do the part that we're capable of. <laughs> Once there were not enough sewing machines, but fortunately, some people lent their sewing machines to the shop. Some people have sewing machines at home, but because they didn't use them, they lent the machines to us. They said they didn't have enough people, but they had the machines. A handicraft shop in Jiali, Tainan is now staffed by local city volunteers. Together, the handicraft shops in Tainan can produce over 600 clothes masks every day. Hopefully, it can solve the mask shortage problem. 
In Shanghai Borough in Zhuoying, there are many elderly people, but they did not have enough masks during this epidemic period. Fortunately, the borough head has some in stock. Therefore, he gave the mask to the seniors, especially when the seniors have to see the doctors. Oh, this box full of masks is the love of Borough Head for community volunteers every day. We have volunteers sweeping the streets every day, so I bought these masks earlier, and I give them to the volunteers to protect themselves when they sweep the streets. The Borough Head gives free masks to the elderly people when they see the doctors. It's fantastic because he brings the masks to us, because we can't walk well. The borough head cares if we elderly have masks when we go to the hospital. This community is an aging community. On average, the residents visit the hospital once a week or even every day. They are old, and many rely on wheelchairs, so they can't buy masks easily. The mask from the borough head helps the seniors with their mask problems during this epidemic period and also bring much warmth to everyone. in the past as the Richmond's disease comes from overeating meat and seafood. Gout patients have found relief on the symptoms by changing their diet. Even if they consume beans and mushrooms, which are food with purin in it, the risk of gout is greatly reduced. Seventy-two-year-old Mr. Chen had an episode two years ago with gout. His knee hurt to the point where he needed medical assistance. Gout is a result of too much meat and seafood, foods which are high in purine, leading to a buildup of uric acid in the blood, causing arthritis pain and joint disfiguration. Changing one's diet to vegetarian is a good way to prevent gout symptoms. In vegetarian diets, the Mediterranean diet where there is lots of vegetables and fruit is really helpful to gout patients besides medication. According to research, if you consume over 1.92 portion of meat product each day, it already increases your risk of gout by 41 percent. If you add seafood to the diet, then the percentage is even higher, possibly to 51 percent. However, if you keep to mainly a plant-based diet, even if it does include beans and mushrooms, it does not increase your risk of gout. The purine and protein from the plant-based food is far superior than meat-based food. Vegetarian is a better choice. A word of caution about vegetarian diet for the public, it's best to avoid over-consuming fruit, which is high in sugar and sugar-filled beverages, as glucose is also a risk for gout. Many people now use hand sanitizer to disinfect their hands, but if they do not use it correctly or too often, their hands will become allergic because hand sanitizer has alcohol. When alcohol vaporizes, it also removes the grease and water from the skin, causing the skin to crack. The doctor suggests that people can use products like hand lotion to moisturize the skin. Medical volunteers have contact with many patients every day, so they usually use the hand sanitizer to save time. I use it about seven to eight times a day, so my hands feel coarse and also like going to crack open. There are many types of hand sanitizer in the market, and most of them include 60 to 95 percent of alcohol condiment and glycerol. If it's too often, it can worsen the skin and make it dry. There is grease on our skin, and it lubricates and protects the skin. If we wash our hands too often, we'll wash away the grease. We can use the lotion, baseline, and zhuyin cream to moisturize our skin. Zhuyin cream includes ingredients such as purple gum oil, 
Chinese Angelica bee wax, and they are gentle to the skin. If the truck comes with sell it, one person can only buy two cans. Tobacco and Liquor Corporation also sells the sanitizing alcohol, which is sold out quickly. There's a rumor about making hand sanitizing powder with Chinese herbs, but the doctor remains doubtful. Alcohol can sanitize very quickly, but whether the Chinese medicines are also equally effective, and this hasn't been proven in the clinical studies, so I'm not sure about it. To improve your immune system, you should stay away from raw and cold foods and also have a numb sleep and a balanced diet. If possible, you should wash your hands with water and soap to protect your skin. In Indonesia, Tsuji School has held a Chinese Day event, asking students to draw pictures with the things of Jingzi aphorisms and sutra of innumerable meanings. The students were creative and drew about their life experiences. As they learned Chinese, they've also cultivated their moral character. With pencils in their hands, the children are expressing the meanings of Jingzi aphorisms in pictures. Ariz, who was in the fourth grade, recalls how she helped her classmate who later became her good friend. I was really surprised that I won first place. I once helped bring a friend who fell down to the nurse's station. Olivia, who is in fifth grade, loves the earth and thinks about what humans should do to protect it. We need to cherish the earth and not let the environment worsen. I will protect the earth and not throw garbage on the ground. They have all won the first place. Tsuji School in Indonesia has held a Chinese Day event. In the drawing contest, sixth graders are making a wall mural together with the theme of Sutra of New Meanings. Our class is drawing pictures related to how Dharma Master Jinyan has spread seeds of love, building hospitals and schools for people in need. The theme is about sheltering responsibility. It means we should have the courage to help other people. The students learn Chinese and cultivate their moral character. Most importantly, through the competition, they've learned about teamwork. In Zhanghua, a 92-year-old senior suffering from dementia lives with her son who's mentally challenged. Because of their conditions, they were unable to keep their home clean. So Tsuji volunteers step in to help them clean their home. The noise made by this handheld cart is very loud and clear in this quiet alley because the cart is taking out garbage again and again. <laughs> I'm glad to help others. The environment she lives in is not suitable for humans, so we took our time and came to help her. Adults and children come to help this family because the 92-year-old grandma suffers from dementia, so her home is filthy, and there is also a stinky smell of rotten food. It's like a big rock being moved away, so I can feel much relieved. The younger sister wanted it to help, but she could not do it. Fortunately, Tsuji volunteers came and made the grandma's house livable again. After some washing and scrubbing, the house resumes to its original look again. In Indonesia, a midwife is looking to change more than the lives of pregnant women, new mothers and babies. She was transferred to a remote village in North Sumatra. As the villagers live near the ocean, their way of disposing their garbage was simply tossing it into the water. Their solution has become a problem for the midwife, as this means babies are growing up in such an unhealthy environment. Therefore, she wants to make a change. Pertama kali saya datang di sini, saya 
When I came here for the first time, the environment stuck out at me. It was very disorderly. The villagers throw garbage everywhere. It wasn't like the other places where trash is contained. I think other places clean each day and their homes are further apart from each other. Here the homes are close together and the villagers throw garbage everywhere. I cannot comprehend how they can live surrounded by garbage. I decided to act. I'm a midwife and my job is to take care of pregnant, birthing and postpartum mothers. But I thought about it. If I was to just only do my job, then what will happen to the surrounding here? The neighborhood is not sanitary, then it will affect the babies and pregnant women. Thus, I must find a solution to solve this problem. It concerns our health problem. Our villagers live closely in contact with one another, and their overall health is impacted because everyone just throw garbage away without concerns. Besides, we don't have showers or bathroom facilities. Besides the close population, there is also a slum region. There are 50% of the population here still living in Steel's home. And these Steel's homes are built on mud. So when the tide comes, their homes are flooded by the ocean waters, on top of which they don't clean up the garbage around their homes. As the villagers and midwife, we shouldn't be afraid of being stationed in faraway places or coming up against obstacles we can't deal with. If we want to decrease the death rate for babies and mothers, we need to educate the villagers. For many children and mentally challenged kids, getting a haircut can be a big challenge. Fortunately, Eden Social Welfare Foundation, there's a hairdresser volunteer who can quickly cut children's hair. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.